Red Edition, welcome, happy day. Look at this picture, this would be an iceberg. A diver recently was able to get into the water. They estimated the weight at 300 million tons. Yeah, it was pretty cool, the Titanic didn't have a chance. This kind of gives new meaning to the phrase or the term, the tip of the iceberg. Pretty interesting stuff. Ottawa, Canada, recently Veteran Affairs said we're going to hire up to 100 additional case managers to help guide the country's former soldiers through the maze of the federal bureaucracy. Uh, these additions, pe additional people means that each manager will now be responsible for 32 ex-soldiers. What? They're going to put them through the maze of bureaucracy? Why not get rid of the bureaucracy? Duh. There's so many forms, nobody can figure it out. I got to tell you, it gives one a headache to look at all of these forms. And they're saying, let's hire more people. And they can't figure it out either. What do they look like? Geniuses? Not very likely. Make it simple. You know that KISS thing, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid government? Come out of the bloody ether. That is terrible stuff. Ian Thompson, I've talked about him before and I've interviewed him on our shows and he's all always in trouble with the CFOs and that would be the uh, chief firearm officers in Canada because he defended his life a couple of years ago. They've been harassing him ever since. It took 19 months for them, the bad guys, that would be the government to say, hey, I know that your life is being threatened, but you can't defend your life. 19 months it took them to say no to his application for a carry permit, a carry permit. He's qualified. He's got all the qualifications. He's the same guy. He knows how to use a gun. He's used it before in defense of his life, and the government says, ha, ha, too bad. He has now firearmlegaldefense.com. Go to the website. It's actually up on my screen right behind me here. Have a look. And Ian now passed all the tests because he's a member, $95 a year. He's a CSSA member also, so he got the discount, 85 bucks a year. And they said, hey, we'll defend you. Let's take these scoundrels to court. And that's what's going on. It's not about Ian anymore. Good for Ian. I wish him well, of course, but it's about you. It's about me. It's about rights for us as Canadian citizens. And it's about time something's going on because now the bullies, that's the CFOs and the government in, in general, now we have a bodyguard. And that's the insurance company. And I'm so excited to share that news with everybody. This ain't a commercial. This is about us. It's about finally you can defend yourself against the government because there are a bunch of comic guys bad bad let's talk about guns a little bit more in america the total economic impact of the firearms and the ammunition industry in the u.s of a increased from 19 billion in 2008 to 43 billion dollars in 2014 43 billion that's a lot of dough oh call me he's the best salesman the gun industry has ever had that's 125 percent increase the total number of full-time jobs rose from 166,000 to 263,000 people that's dramatic growth 263,000 people whatever somebody says get rid of guns how about get rid of your mind oh it's already gone because this works it's an economy driver it's a machine it's happening it's good in addition to the right to defend yourself and all of that and the sports shooting ain't just about shooting bad guys it's about having fun when you're up at the range don't you know Vancouver Canada it's not just Vancouver, it's so many cities in Canada that the uh, the mayor or the council members, they break the law on a regular basis. They say, it's okay, you pot guys, you can have little dispensaries, even though it's illegal, we're going to look the other way. And I've been actually to council meetings where mayors and councillors said, let's look the other way. They should all go to jail, I mean, because it's a law. If you don't like the law, change the law, but don't break the law in front of God and everybody, and that's what they do. Now, Rona Ambrose, the chief, the boss, I guess, of Hell Canada has come along and said, hey, hey, hey don't do that. Rhoda, you couldn't manage a one-person parade. Health Canada is an absolute shambles with regards to marijuana. I mean, you've taken close to $2 billion out of the pockets of entrepreneurs by teasing them, saying apply for a license to legally grow me medical marijuana, and, and then they just ignore them. There's guys that have lost a million dollars and they finally surrender and give up, you know, a year later, and now she's standing up saying, hey, hey, I know all about things. Ugh, not so fast. Let me end today with this little piece of verbiage. Things don't settle, things get settled. I should be much older to know so much and be so wise. Y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to more for you from the right. See ya.